The other areas we haven't covered yet when it comes to uh, materials are the variant codes and the SKUs. Uh, as mentioned in the other video, an SKU is very important, so we highly recommend that you create unique SKU codes for every single variant that you have in your Katana items list for both materials and products. There are some use cases where variant codes would stay the same for multiple variations of an item, but it's only common in certain industries. Um, so what we do recommend, depending on what you're trying to achieve, is to have a unique code for any single independent variant item that is in reality different from the other variant items. That would be the main differentiator. Over here to the right, we have what's called the default purchase price. A default purchase price is oftentimes confused with cost. So something that I'd like to mention early as you continue through the training is that the default purchase price is very different from actual cost of material. You see, when you're making purchasing decisions against an item, you're not always going to buy the item for the same price. Uh, so the cost in your stock of that item will fluctuate over time. And since Katana is using costing methodology called moving average cost, then it's very possible that the material cost will be different than the default purchase price, especially if you buy it at different prices regularly. The default purchase price is in fact just the single uh, value that by default is always added to a purchase order when a purchase order is made for that item. So if your supplier quotes you at a different price, then of course you'll change the price from this to something else on your purchase order um, in order to reflect the cost whenever that item comes to inventory. But this will be the default price that you'll always um, create on a purchase order when a purchase order is made fresh. And here to the right, we have the in-stock quantities. And the in-stock quantity uh, is how much of that material do you have in stock at the moment? And uh, there's a little eye icon here that allows you to open up what's called an inventory, inventory Intel component, which we'll see a lot of when we get into the stock section. And uh, if you're using multiple locations, there will be an option to toggle between those locations to see how much of that material is in different places. And the little garbage can icon here to the right, or the bin icon, is actually a delete button. So if you want to delete a variant material, you can press that to remove the row, and that item gets removed from Katana. It's treated in the same way as deleting. So again, going back to the material page, whenever you delete items from there, um, if you've got that item on other types of documents, like purchase orders, manufacturing order ingredients list, then it will show up with a line strike through it.